the ghetto street What you gonna do when you grow up And have to face responsibility What's up you two? Um, it is Thursday night, it's about 10 o'clock here in Arizona This afternoon, I'm looking around right now this afternoon I'm at work and I have my phone connected to all my emails. So as y'all know I'm doing the other channel, they go to now. And I put a request out for anybody who is artistic in any way as far as if you draw, if you write, if you sing, if you dance, if you hip hop, if you do poetry, if you do jazz, country, whatever. Bible has a saying, ask and you shall receive. And I've gotten a lot of love. I've gotten people showing me. i got a bunch of hip-hop folks sending me stuff. And um, I have uh, some folk people that I might end up putting on the channel. They weren't half bad. A little channel they, they linked up to think on it now. But I also have people, I guess, they linked to me through. I have all of the host channels listed. And we're going to be adding another host here. I'll be working out the details with her soon for think on it now. But... I got a request sent to me with a video. And I, there's no words that can describe what I saw when I went to that channel. I, whew, I'm going to let y'all watch what I saw. I'm not even going to really talk about it too much. All I can say is this. It will be featured on this channel, Minister Dunn, and it's going to be featured on Think On It Down. The Bible tells you your gifts will make room for you. With that being said, I'd like to introduce you to Mr. Threat. Enjoy. What you going to do when you grow up? His brother dies in front of his eyes. He's only two times five. Still a young son. Yeah. I'm going to tell you a story real quick. I was on the phone the other day with my mom, man. She told me how proud she was of me. And it's funny because it made me think back to when I was writing invitations for everybody to come see me when I graduated. I sat down and I wrote her one, and inside this invitation I wrote how thankful I was for her raising me to be the man that I am, and she woke up the next day and she read it, and I was just so proud for her to read it, so when she told me she was proud of me the other day on the phone, I, I knew I was heading in the right direction. Feeling like they can't touch me My favorite line from my favorite song That I wrote when I was so hungry Still am That's why most of my songs don't have hooks Instead, I tend to write books The looks that I get from my peers overjoys me Like you a rapper now Go on, tell your story You know that I will And you know that I won't Copy what I see on TV I know that they don't Realize what they doing Kids nowadays are so easily influenced by that crack shit that you love to rap about If I had magic, he'd appear from the clouds You know the one who had a dream about your freedom We're free at last, but we still don't have freedom Slaves to our own fucking environment Raising our kids to be like us Instead of saying try this You know a new way of thinking Instead of thinking I can't, I just go out and get it Grandma in the kitchen, and I'm on a mission To cook up that soulfulness in my music Couldn't kill my dreams with the weight pills Cause I would just daydream, still Time killing my chances of being famous Not succeeding, is so dangerous Cause if I don't make it, I gotta be stuck in the same place complacent so I pick up my pace quick, double time Gotta stay up all night just to keep my rhymes in Mid condition, keep my ears where my heart is Listening 
to what he gotta say I swear he never lead you down the wrong way Two ways to this life that you're living You either get what you've been searching for or keep fishing That's just a little message to my exes You cheated on me, I swear was my best fucking lesson You taught me how to deal with heartbreak Ironic, that's when Kanye made 808s and heartbreak But I'm over that And I'm under the influence of my family Who says make good music Watching Mr. Three, what I saw was so amazing, words can't even express how overwhelmingly gifted this brother is. I believe if you go read his bio on his YouTube page, he's only been on YouTube since June, something like June 5th of 2011. Let me just look real quick. He's only been on here since June 5th of 2011. He only has two videos on YouTube. And with the two videos he has on YouTube, since June 5th, 2011, he's had 22,845 upload views and 5,358 views on this channel. When you see what I saw, when you just got through watching what I saw, you understand why. But this brother's deep. Because as I'm watching his artistry on the wall and all the, the artwork he's doing, I'm not realizing that's that brother doing the music and the rapping. It's the same guy. And when I start seeing I'm like, wait a minute, you can go download. Oh, crap, this is him. I didn't hear bitch. I didn't hear hoe. I didn't hear none of that. I didn't hear the skate body stuff. I saw pure, unadulterated talent. And I decided to read and see something about him. And here, I just got to read this. So for those of y'all who go to his page, because I'm going to have the links below. The links to his artwork. You can actually buy his artwork. I don't know his brother from a can of paint. All I know is he's gifted. He's, his name is Daryl Threats. He is a graduate of Florida A&M University where he... Where, where he attained a bachelor's degree in fine arts. And then it talks about his moving around. It talks about his accomplishments as an artist, um, that he has won some awards, that his um, his artwork is on display at um, galleries. Um, awesome, awesome, awesome. And if you go back and you watch the one that we have in the video, here is the... Is the um, Tupac and Malcolm X, you go back and watch that. What you will see if you listen, you will hear him thanking his mother and all the things that he went through up until that point. Awesome. You can download his album free. And I have those links below. I have his Facebook link below. All the information. Look, please subscribe to our channel, but I'm going to get a brother some shouts. Go subscribe, friend him, and encourage this young black man who is obviously extremely talented and gifted. And God bless whoever had you, because you got a bad mama, son, because I can just tell she raised a nice young man. You're gifted. You're, you're extremely gifted. Um, hopefully you stay that way, keep everything clean, because you're gifted. So I hope you all enjoyed. This is pretty much going to be it for Minister Dunn talking it now. It's all going to be about Mr. Three today. Um... I'll be putting this video up. This is Thursday night. I'll probably roll it out Saturday or late Friday night because I'm going to try to roll it and the one for Think On It Now at the same time. I, I'm just impressed. I'm, I'm so impressed. I'm impressed with your hip-hop sound. I downloaded your whole album. And the, one, the song that's going to be playing is The Little Ghetto Boy. I like that. I heard that and I'm impressed. So we'll be playing that. That's what you'll hear at the beginning of the video I'm on right now and at the end of the video. So... Y'all just show this man some love. Go to his channel, rate, subscribe, be friend, comment, and just tell him how well you think his stuff is. I'm actually going to probably go buy one of his photos here in the next few weeks. I'm just that impressed with his work. So, 
Y'all be blessed. Two, two. God bless. Fam, you was his institution of higher learning. Worked overnight to make his earning. That's school by day, track by the evening. Work by night, no time for sleeping. Cause when he slept, he only had visions of death. His brother never left his mind. It was heavy on his brain cells, but he wouldn't never cry. Cause he remembered what his brother told.